Conflicts are impacting U.S. producers on a number of fronts, but despite dire predictions, many in agriculture are standing by the president's agenda. RFD-TV Sarah Mock has more. Missouri farmer Kalina Kinney-Bruce penned an opinion piece about her perspective on trade in 2018, and it went viral. And it got picked up by the Washington Post, which I was totally not expecting. And so that was as different for me. I wasn't expecting for um, maybe people outside my circle not to read that. And when I say my circle, I'm talking, you know, farmers and ranchers. Her message that farmers more than most know about patients and are standing behind the Trump administration's agenda made it all the way to the president's Facebook page. And he mentioned her by name in a recent address. But she says it hasn't all been smooth sailings. I took quite a bit of heat for that, and it was an interesting piece. But at the end of the day, I had to remind myself that, hey, this is this is what people need to hear, um, and, and this is the truth. Bruce is one of a growing number of farmers who are wading into national debates about top ag issues, from GMOs and labeling to trade and disaster aid. Advocates are saying now is the time to step up. You're the only one that knows your story. And if you don't share it, no one else is going to share it for you. So the way I approach it is it's an opportunity to start a conversation. I don't have to agree with everyone, and they don't have to agree with me. But if we don't discuss, we don't even know if we agree. But as farmers explore more ways to share their point of view, from traditional op-ed pieces and interviews to social media accounts and blogging, leaders also offer a warning. Beware of trolls. Don't delve into conversations that you can't, that there is no absolve to. I mean, there's a lot of people on social media with a lot of opinions, and they're not always going to win every battle. Though wading into the national debate can be a daunting task, there is help. Many ag trade groups and checkoff programs offer training and resources for producers who are interested in starting a conversation about what's grown on America's farms and ranches. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Monk in Washington. Thank you, Sarah. The American Farm Bureau is one of the organizations offering ag communication programs, including their annual Women's Communication Boot Camp. If you'd like to learn more, just visit fb.org slash programs. New research shows people who are strongly opposed to GMOs have less understanding of food science. The